Hello, this video shows you how to install uh, a theme by Studio Press called Generate Pro and it's a really good theme for um, building your email list. If, you've got, if you want to have a small blog that can help you build your email list this is excellent. Anyway, it's th this video is not for people who are completely new to WordPress. You let, I'm expecting you to have some WordPress skills to be able to follow along with the video. Now, this is the thing we're dealing with. And I've already installed WordPress with a 2014 theme and I've made four blog posts and three web pages. We've got featured images attached to their blog posts and the featured images need to be at least 700 by 300 to make this theme look right. So what do we need to do? So far we've just got basic 2014 theme set up with some pages and some posts. So we're going to first of all, there's a few settings we might need to do so we'll go to um, settings general first, let's go to settings general just add your site name and your tagline then we want to go to reading and we're using the blog uh, front page displays your latest post so it's going to be a blog it'd be a blog style layout and I'm having three posts on each page you can pick five or seven or whatever you want there but make sure when you do it in the WordPress settings you've got to do it in the Genesis settings as well for that uh, blog pages to show up most so once you've set those save settings and we will move along to what we'll do, we'll install the theme. So we need to go to our dashboard, appearance, themes, and we want to add a new. Now we're going to upload the themes. They're on my desktop. The, um, I've downloaded the zip files from Studio Press, put them on my desktop, and I'm going to choose them now. So Genesis first, install now. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to activate Genesis. Genesis. I'm going to activate the the theme, which is uh, Generate Pro. So I want to go back to Themes page, and now I want to add a new. So we have Appearance Themes, Add New, Upload Theme, Choose. And that's the Generate Pro, which is the actual theme we're going to use. Open, install now. So we've got the Genesis framework and the theme and the theme we're using is Generate Pro so I'm going to activate that theme right so let's have a see where we've got to now this was the theme we were using before and now it's changed to this one but as you can see there's still work to be done so what do we need to do First of all, I want to change this so that the, the blog page doesn't show uh, the full blog posts. I want to just show little snippets. So let's go into our dashboard. Um, Genesis, theme settings. And uh, we've got a lot of settings we can change here. I'm going to choose the blue theme. You've got different choices with this theme. I'm using blue because I like the, the colour. Got default layout I'm choosing the sidebar on the right hand side what else have we got? I'm not using breadcrumbs now content archives I want to display post content 350 characters I'm going to include the featured image and I'm going to choose a size of 700 by 300 none for a line doesn't really matter because the image should take up the full width of the, the, the available space what else have we got blog page template we've got set this to 3 we set that in the WordPress settings and we've got to set it here as well so on the blog pa page template there'll be 3 posts on each um, kind of list so click save right we'll see how far we've got now so what we've got now is almost the same but we instead of having the whole post showing on the front page 
it just shows a little snippet of each post and it shows the featured image. If you don't know what a featured image is, basically when you make your posts you just choose a featured image uh, down here, featured image, you choose a featured image there. But it's got to be for this theme to, to look right it's got to be 700 by 300. Right, what's next? We'll have a look what we've got so far. We'll add the search box and we're going to put something in the sidebar. So we need to go to appearance, widgets, and in the header right we're going to put search. So look for search there, put it in header right. So we've got search box. Make sure we click the save. And in the primary sidebar we will put um, recent posts. Just choose it from the list. I want that, that to go in the primary sidebar. You can either drag it or just use that feature there. And um, we're going to call it recent posts. We're going to show five recent posts in the sidebar. Click save and we can move on. Now we need a navigation bar. So let's go to appearance, menus, pick a name for your navigation bar and click create menu. Now we've got a menu but we've got nothing inside it. So over here where it says pages, choose view all and it'll show all the pages you've made. These are all the pages I've got. So I'm going to select all of them and add to the menu. I haven't actually made a home page. The home page is going to be the blog page. Um, but I've made these other pages about us, contact us. So what I want first is our services. About us, contact us, that's it. Um, I'll click save menu. So now we've got a menu, but it's not being used yet. So to use it, we go to appearance, menus, manage locations, and I'm going to put it in the primary navigation. My menu, that's the one. Save changes. So now we'll have a look. See how far we've got. That looks better. We've got search box. We've got our site name. And we've got nav menu there. Recent posts in the sidebar. And we've got on the home page a list of our most recent blog posts. And if we've got more than we've... Uh, move it on the front page you get the little next button there this one doesn't have a featured image so you just got the little blurb so what we want to do now is to add this box here now to do that we need a plugin and the plugin we need is called Genesis eNews Extended so go to plugins go in there plugins add new and search for Genesis eNews Extended Plugin. And it's by Brandon Craft. Make sure you've got the right one, then click Install Now. Are you sure? Yes. Now, while we're here, I'm going to install Contact Form 7 as well. Um, so go back to Plugin Installer, Install Plugins, Contact Form 7. So on contact form 7 plugin install now. Are you sure I want to install? Yes. I want to activate the plugin. I'll just make sure I activated the other plugin as well. Where are we now? E-news extended, activate. Make sure you activate both plugins. If you want you don't have to use contact form 7 if you don't want to. Um, so now what we're going to do is set up this, this box here. Now, once you've installed the plugin called um, e Genesis eNews Extended, all you need to do, go to Appearance, Widgets, and when you've installed and activated the Genesis eNews Extended plugin, it put this widget in your available widgets. So appearance widgets after you install Genesis eNews Extended you'll see that plugin is available or that 
this has got a widget that's made by the plugin and we want to put it in two different places we're going to put it in home featured widget area so we'll add that one and it's put it in there the home featured widget area and we want to put it in after entry and we'll see why we're doing both of them a bit later on now I'll just set up some right now what I did I just switched the recorder off for a minute there while I typed this in here what you need to do in the Genesis eNews extended widgets in your home featured and after entry type a title I'll show you what that does there we go this is the title of the the widget or the plugin Genesis eNews extended a little bit of blurb to try and convince people to join your mailing list which is this bit here and then there's another bit you have to do so that's Genesis eNews extended title text to show before form scroll down and we're looking for form action and you get the form action from I'm using MailChimp but whichever um, email provider or mailing list provider you use they'll give you some code and you paste that code in there now I've made another video showing you how to get that code I'll just show you the next bit in the email field just type email in all caps so that's all we need to do to set this plugin up for this particular theme but this is the important bit which might confuse you now it takes a while to to work out how to do that so I've made a separate video so if you go to my website uh, if you go to the home page look for studio press tutorials or the genesis newbie and in the sidebar you will find genesis enews extended and mailchimp a tutorial so follow that tutorial if you don't know if, you, if you're not if you're new to mailchimp and this enews extended plugin follow that tutorial it will show you how to set things up but we've got that there now by adding that plugin and those widgets in home featured and after entry so now we've got this sign up and when someone comes to your website they just put their email address address in there press go and it'll take them to a MailChimp page that helps them to sign up for your mailing list it's really good right so that's more or less all we need to do that's the home page when someone wants to read a bit more to think oh that one looks interesting it takes them to that page now we'll just add a contact us form so that um, people can contact you so all we need to do we've installed contact form 7 in your sidebar you'll now find a contact button click contact forms and there's already a, a contact form ready made as part of installing contact form 7 so when it says short code there we went to contact contact form one which is ready made click the short code there to select it and paste it into your page so we'll have to edit the page just paste it in I'm in visual tab you don't need to do it in text tab and that's the short code update and now what we've got is a fully functioning little website that's ideal for any small business that's trying to collect email addresses you've got your home page our services page just a bit of blurb about your services about us contact us page that's ready made well thanks for watching if you get stuck you need more information just go to my website search for the genesis newbie and look for this in the sidebar there's a separate sidebar for this Genesis newbie section of my site and look for the Genesis eNews extended uh, tutorial down here. Thanks for watching and bye for now.